Today we're here to talk about the Iron Tire. The Iron Tire is a device that is <clears throat> made to pick up a, an airplane with a flat tire on your runway or taxiway in order to tow it safely back to the hangar for repair. Uh, the main components of the Iron Tire is a set of hydraulics that are used to, to pick up these two lifting spoons. The two lifting spoons go underneath the, the flat tire and then pick it up off the ground. Um, there's there's four casters, four swivel casters that enable the device to to easily be moved around the hangar and to the to the aircraft itself. There's two two tow bar attachments that are located on the the iron tire, which can be used with a universal tow bar as well as a standard hand tow bar. The actuator screw located here is used to open and close the frame to force the spoons underneath the flat tire. And there's also caster locks that enable you to lock the casters in the direction of towing. Now we're going to run through a dry run of how this, how this operates. Um, first thing is this is a pressure relief knob. Rotate it to the left to release the pressure. Rotate it to the right to lock it so that you can safely pump the cylinder. Now that I've covered that, I can face it towards you so you can understand exactly how this operates. What we're using for the actuator screw, just for quick actuating, is we have a half inch cordless impact wrench that we're going to use to operate the actuator screw. We're going to hold the, the cylinder out of, out of the way so when the frame opens, you don't run into any interference between the upper spoon attachment. So we use that to open the frame. Now you can slide the iron tire around the flat tire and then you reverse the direction of the actuator screw to collapse the frame and force it underneath the tire, making sure that you completely close the gap on the frame assembly. Now that the frame assembly is completely closed, we lock the pressure relief and then pump the handle to lift the spoons. And when, as the spoons lift, it will pick up the tire off the ground. And now we would make sure that our caster locks are not locked, which they are not, and you can safely tow the airplane back to the hangar.
So now that you understand the basic components and operation of the iron tire, we're now going to demonstrate how the iron tire works on an actual airplane. So now that we have arrived to the airplane with the supposed flat tire, we can unlock the casters so that it's free to move around. We will turn the thumb wheel to the left direction on the, the hydraulic pump to relieve the pressure on the cylinder, hold the cylinder out of the way of the upper spoon attachments and here we're using a half inch cordless ratchet to operate the actuator screw and now we'll open the frame so that we have clearance to get around the flat tire. Now that the frame is open, we can wheel it right around the tire, making sure that the spoons are in line with the center line of the tire. Now that we're lined up, we'll continue to hold the cylinder up and out of the way. And by rotating the actuator screw in the opposite direction, we will tighten the frame, forcing the spoons underneath the tire. If you don't have a, a half inch impact or cordless ratchet, a manual ratchet will also work. And as you can see, it's very easy to turn. The important part to note is that we completely collapse the frame by closing this gap so that we can ensure the spoons are all the way underneath the tire so that it can properly pick it up. Now we place the hydraulic ram onto the upper spoon attachment, tighten the thumb wheel, and now pump to lift the spoons. As you are pumping the, the hand pump, pay close attention to the upper mechanical stops on the spoons and make sure not to continue pumping the hydraulics beyond that point. Now that the, the tire is all the way off the ground, we can now hook the tug up to the aircraft and tow it back to the hangar.
Now we're going to remove the iron tire from the aircraft once we've arrived back to the hangar. In order to do this, we want to open the frame while the hydraulics are still under pressure. So we want to continue to open the frame until the tips of the spoons have came in contact with the ground. Now that that has happened, we can loosen the pressure on the hydraulic ram. Again, hold that out of the way of the upper spoon attachments and continue to open the frame until there's full clearance for the iron tire to be removed. Now for storage, I like to close the frame and tighten the hydraulics. So now the frame's all the way closed. Tighten the pressure wheel and lift the spoons. And that's the iron tire.